One way to improve your Catan game is to practice the initial placements and to compare your choices against the best players in the entire United States. Let's see how you match up today on Legendary Tactics. We're using the 2021 US National Championship here as a way to train you to improve your initial placement skills. As with our other placement puzzles, this will be interactive. If this puzzle or any of our others have been helpful to you, we'd certainly appreciate if you'd hit the like button. You can pause the video at any point if you'd like to have more time. So let's begin. The blue player gets to place first. My first consideration when I look at a board like this, especially if I'm the first player to choose, is what resources are scarce. Depending on what resource it is, you may need to get those first so that you don't get shut out when it comes around to your second pick. I'll give you 10 seconds now for you to make your decision. Blue chooses the 6 and 11 ore and the 5 wool. He points outward with the option of getting either the 3 to 1 generic harbor or the 3 to 1 wood harbor. This decision happened very quickly because Blue noticed that there really only was one viable ore option on the board. White chooses next. Where would you place? The white player elects to get into the ore business too by choosing the 11 ore, 8 sheep, and 9 grain. This is also a solid choice with a nice diverse range of high probability tiles. She points her road toward the desert, perhaps heading for the 8 sheep, 10 grain? At this point, I would personally assume that the 8 3 10 will get taken, so this seems like a wasted road to me. But if you have thoughts on this or any other choices in this video, please let me know in the comments what you would have done. Next, the orange player has a choice to make, and so do you. Orange opts for the 4 and 9 grain with the 9 brick. He points his road towards the 10 sheep with the clear aim to win the 2 to 1 grain harbor. I can't imagine that the other players will let that happen though. He ends up with a high pip count and a strong source of grain. Overall, I think this is a solid pick, perhaps even better than the white choice. Next is arguably the hardest selection on the board. It certainly isn't as clear as the first three options were. If you're the red player, where do you go for your first pick? Red chooses the 6 wood and the 10 3 grain. This effectively limits the weed options for the blue player. It's often said that no weed equals defeat, so blue may be getting a little bit nervous here. Red points her road toward the edge of the map with the options for the 2 to 1 brick harbor or a 3 to 1 generic harbor. And this offers some solid options for expansion. Where would you place your second settlement as red? Players are now deciding what resources they want to pull into their hands, so Red goes with the immediate road taking the 8 and 9 brick with the 12 wood. She points her road to the edge of the map with the option of getting either the 2 to 1 ore harbor or the generic 3 to 1 harbor. She certainly has good potential for road building, but may find it hard to link one settlement to the other. There's also a good chance that she can grab that brick harbor and convert her strong brick supply. If you're the orange player, how do you either complement or concentrate your resources with your next pick? If you've made it this far into the video without subscribing to our channel and you feel we've earned it, please take a moment to join us now. Orange decides to go for the 10 grain, 8 sheep, and 3 ore placement, noticeably not getting any wood. He's certainly throwing his eggs into the grain basket here. He points his road in the direct competition with the white player towards the desert. Again, I'm not sure this road placement will offer much potential to the orange player. Perhaps he's seen something that I'm not though. This brings us back to white. Which position looks the most beneficial to you here? White ends up taking the 5 and 11 wood with a 3 ore. They're now the only player to have every type of resource. She points her road towards the 4 sheep with a shot at getting a 3 to 1 generic harbor. This leaves our final placement to blue. Where do you place next?
Blue certainly noticed that Orange was getting a little greedy and opts for the 4 grain and 10 sheep placement. I like this pick. This also gives Blue an immediate wheat harbour and he points his road back towards his other settlement. This sets him up to play an ore wheat sheep game. However, his source of wheat is not going to keep pace with his ore production so that could be a problem for him. Fortunately for Blue, his ore will be more valuable in trades. As promised, I'll show you the final board so you can see the result of these choices. And while I get it set up, decide who you think has the best starting positions and who you think has the best chance of winning based on the initial placements. So in the end, Blue wins this game. It was really close. He lays down three victory points out of his hand as a result of a strong development card game. He has four points for two cities, one point for a settlement and two for the largest army. White places second with seven points, and she managed to get nine points and almost took this game, but she couldn't quite close it out. Orange takes third, holding the longest road card, and Red had trouble getting off the ground, ending up with five points, all in settlements. If you haven't tried our European, Canadian, or world placement puzzles yet, and you had fun doing this one, I'll link to those for you now. And thanks so much for your time.